just have to undo these uh, clips that hold it. That's the cap. Now if you want to take uh, the coil off the cap, the coil is on top of the cap, and it actually looks like this. So you take these uh, three screws off, pull this little cap off, and here you see the coil. And if you want to pull the coil out, there's one, two, three, four screws here, and you have to pull these wires out. You just take your needle nose and pull these little clips out like that. And then there's another wire that goes to ground here. You have to make sure that that's grounded right there. Then you take these four screws out, pull the coil off, put a new one in, and that's that. Now we got this off to take the rotor off. There's just two screws here. The rotor comes off. And then what I do, there's a, a pin in here. You have to punch this pin out, and once you punch this pin out, the, this gear will come out, like that. There's just a pin that fits in there, and it goes right through. You just take a little punch and punch it out, and then this whole shaft will come out, like so. And that's what this looks like. Now we'll take all of this apart and we'll rebuild it. There's two screws here to take this module out, one screw here to take this resistor out, and then there's these three screws to take out the pickup coil. You can take these three screws out. And here will just come off by itself. Or you can take the whole thing off. But what holds this in is there's a, a, a little ring around here that fits in the groove that holds this pickup coil in. I've already taken it off. Uh, and then this thing, the whole thing just pulls out like so. And there you have it. Now I got this all in here. I didn't quite tighten everything, but now I'm going to put this pickup coil in. You got to match it up here with this advance here. And to make sure that it goes in there. There. Now this tiny little clip here goes in a little groove here to hold the pickup coil in there. There, I put this in, tightened all the screws, made sure this resistor here is nice and grounded down there. Tighten all these screws up and uh, it should be good to go now. Just have to put the shaft back in. I cleaned this shaft nicely and there's also a washer that goes in there that usually is inside there. This one never came out. 
then I put a little bit of grease on here now once you got the shaft in there is this kind of funny washer that goes on here first then there's an ordinary washer that goes on and then the gear goes on and all there is is a pin in here match up the hole here and uh, pound this pin in pretty easy There, all that's together. Just kind of rotate it here to make sure that the pickup coil doesn't hit or anything. Any strange noises? Sound strange noises? Sounds good. Now, now I've got a another cap that's just about new I had put the coil on here before uh, I've checked out this coil it's good so I'm going to use this cap I'm not going to use the original cap on the other old one because well it's not old it's brand new but it's like I say it's something really serious law wrong with it so I'm going to use this cap the coil is good and I've got a, dar a new rotor here and we're good to go it's on one way there's a little a little notch here which ma matches this little notch so you gotta make sure you do that if you put it on there it fits just nice and that's good And also this cap, it's got a little notch here and a, a notch here that has to fit together. It only fits in one spot, like so. All right. Now the cap with the coil see how that fits huh. there now we plug this in and we're ready to test it now I got it hooked up here just like uh, in a vehicle so when I turn this
she works.